Hello and welcome. This video lesson covers an overview on the specification tree within CATIA v5. So let's get started. The specification tree gives a hierarchical text display of all the objects in the model. This includes features, planes, sketches, curves, axes, and constraints. The specification tree in its default display mode is a hierarchy of objects. Each object has its own node that is attached to other objects by branches. You can collapse or expand a branch by clicking the small plus or minus that display to its left. CATIA groups different objects together logically. For example, all the features in a body display under a body node. The sketch used to create a pad displays under the pad node, and the curves that go into a sketch appear under the sketch node. This organization helps you to see how different objects in a model relate to one another. When you select an object in the specification tree, it highlights in the graphics window as well. There is no difference in picking something directly from the model or picking it from the tree. You can select multiple objects at once by holding control as you pick each node. You can also select a group of objects on the same branch by holding shift, then picking the first and last object in the list. Selecting multiple features is useful when deleting several objects. Selecting an object before you start a command also speeds some processes and is necessary when you need to specify a feature list. The specification tree uses icons to show information about different objects. The icon to the left of the object name shows what type of object it is. CATIA changes the icon on a node to indicate the state of the object. A gray icon indicates a hidden object, in this case a hidden sketch. Red brackets in the lower left corner of the icon indicate a deactivated object, in this case, a deactivated edge fillet. A small red lightning bolt in the lower left corner of the icon indicates an isolated object, in this case, an isolated plane. A small swirl in the lower left corner of the icon indicates that an object needs to be updated, in this case, Pocket 2. The main advantage of the specification tree is the quick access it offers for editing or selecting elements in a model. You can access a number of options for an element by right-clicking its node and selecting from the pop-up menu. The options on the sub-menu at the bottom change according to the type of object selected. Center graph scrolls the tree so that the selected feature displays in the middle. Reframe on centers the selected geometry in the graphics window. Parents children display the dependencies before and after the selected object. This is invaluable for determining what else is affected by a change to a given feature. Cut, copy, paste and paste special work just as they do in other Windows applications. You can cut or copy features from one body to another or even to another part file. You can hide or display the specification tree by selecting View Specifications or pressing F3. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching and join me next time.